Hi guys, good afternoon. Um, it is Friday the 26th of March. Um, and I know I've been quiet for a few weeks. Um, but I've had like a crazy month. Um, I absolutely hate the month of March at the moment because there's Mother's Day. Um, and I lost my mum 12 years ago and um, my own fertility issues. Um, and then my dad's birthday, the 21st of March, um, and he passed away last, yeah, last year on the 30th of March. Um, and like yesterday is the one year anniversary of the last time I saw my dad alive because he um, fell and broke his hip a year ago yesterday. Um, and I'll be honest, it doesn't seem that long since it doesn't seem like a whole year since but the whole year has been a blur seems like it's been a long year but also nothing really seems to have been that far away because it's all been a blur um and i've just spent nine days in hospital due to an infected foot and having to have another toe amputated so the third toe amputated whilst i was in and the following Wednesday, they were going to try and take off the fourth or fifth toe. So that's a little toe on the toe outside of that. Um, but they decided that it's um, not loose enough, so they need to um, take me to theatre. So I'm booked in for the 7th of April for all those two removing for day surgery. Um, they're very kindly giving me some. The Razapam to take bef uh, before the surgery so that I'm all chill. So, I think I, uh, the reason I needed it and asked for it is because although I've had the other two toes taken off uh, whilst working in clinic, I was able to have my phone on me and keep myself distracted. Um, whereas I don't think that's going to be a possibility in the actual theatre. So. I just don't, won't have anything to distract me and I'm just worried about that. So they've given me some Razipam to kind of keep me chill. Mm. So, But yes, I've had the third toe amputated. So I'm having daily dressings with the nurses. Um, and then on the 7th of April, I have the fourth and fifth toe amputated. So when they took the toes off on the... When they took the third toe off on the Wednesday, the fourth toe had a kissing also, but was okay. The fifth toe was fine. The next day, the fourth and fifth toe were dying. So, and like the podiatrist and vascular nurse said, you were, uh, you did say that you had a lot of pain in those toes. I'm like, I did. So, it makes sense. I, I'm still on antibiotics, two lots of antibiotics for the foot infection. But yeah, nine days in hospital. Um, so, eight days were kind of um, my foot's in pain at the minute. Um, eight days I was kind of like in a room, so I room on my own, no TV or anything, but I they did keep up for me a fairly, um, but I was okay because I'd got my phone with like all the catch up, I've got like ITV, the ITV Hub Channel 4 thing, um, and BBC iPlayer, and then I also had Netflix and the radio app, so I was okay with all of those. I didn't really need um, a telly. Um, and then like for one night they moved me out onto a, um, a bay with six people. Well, me plus five others. So it was nice to be interacting with people again. So there was a very inspirational lady there that has um, MS and at the moment she's in a flare up that means she can't move or stand or whatever. Um, 
but she's so positive and so happy. So inspirational. Uh, I wish that I could be so positive when um, um, I am struggling and having a bad day, but I, I have to admit, I'm usually more of a let's be quiet and so look on my own kind of person. So, yeah. But I am home. Um, and then on the 7th of April, I go back for my well, the toes removed. There is a 50% chance that I could lose all the toes on that foot uh, within the next 6 to 12 months. Um, but they are hoping that the big toe may survive because there is a blood supply going to the big toe. So, I guess we just have to wait and see. When 2020 was ending and we all said we hope 2021 is going to be better, I don't think it's been that much better for many people, has it? Because we've got people with health issues, COVID's still around um, and everything, but plod on. Eventually, everything will get back to some kind of normal. Even if it is a new normal, we will get back to some kind of normal. So, I had my first COVID jab. Um, I've got to wait for the 2nd in May. I think it's 10th of May, my second one. Um, I was ill with the first one for two days. So I'm dreading the second, but it's got to be worth it, hasn't it, to protect us? Because whether or not it stops you getting COVID, it stops you getting it bad enough to need the hospital and to need life-saving treatment you should hopefully be okay after having it so that is my hope that is my um richard's had his first covid jab too um so he got offered it as my carer um and then I'm trying to think. There was something else we were gonna, I was going to say. But I can't think. Richard's currently gone to his mum's house while she's out at work so that he can pick up some stuff for us because uh, apparently there are this post and things for us there. So we can go and grab them. Um, we can go grab them while she's out at work. Um, what else could I have been thinking of telling you? Oh, yeah, Richard's back at work. He's finally gone back to work. Well, he's not gone to work. He's working from home. So um, that's fun um, because he's recording stuff for... Well, he's not recording stuff. He's on air on um, William Mills in Play Radio or Betting TV or whatever it's called. Um, so he's on air on that. So me and Sky Sky have to be quiet, which is fun because neither of us are quiet. Um, and on a Saturday, he's now doing a radio show. Um, for a new radio station. So, so he's doing that on a Saturday for us. So. I may have to try and get in as a co-host, co-host at DJ Ella. Right then, I think that is all our news. Um, I will close and speak to you all soon. Um, have a good rest of your day and a good weekend. Speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.